there you go all done it's quite nice uh, not the best day at the moment it's uh, we're in the middle of that storm Eugene but uh, yeah no I'm pleased with that so I hope you enjoyed it um, any advice I can give please ask and uh, uh, I'll, I'll leave a link in the um, description of uh, where I got all the bits all right take it easy see you on the next one Neil. The wood is going to be just too expensive so this was only uh, about six quid from the wood yard uh, and off cut so it was square I've now cut it um, this is 22 inches wide which gives me about a half inch lip around the um, around the fire pit so I've rubbed it all down rubbed the edges cut it fairly fairly carefully with the jigsaw and I'm going to create this, I don't know if you can see it, this little yin-yang type uh, thing. So I'll have sort of a darky bluey sort of beachy area and then a sort of um, like I say, a lava flow type thing. Um, uh, making the yin-yang, pretty simple, I'll show you how to do it. So what you need to do, you need to find the edge, uh, find the middle, the direct middle of the, this is only a rough way of doing it, all right? It doesn't have to be that accurate because I'm not doing it accurately, so. Um, basically, you measure the centre and then you measure the centre between that one and that one and then the centre between that one and that one, which is there. And then all you do is you put your, you put your nail on the, uh, the dot you've made there to your centre mark like that yeah and then you draw one and then you go to the other side exactly the same way then you go two and then it creates that yin yang shape okay once in the studio um, put down some plastic sheeting otherwise the uh, this stuff will go everywhere. Um, I put three little um, tubs there just to rest the um, the top on. Um, and it's important that this has to be dead level because if you're using resin, then if, if it's just slightly out, it's gonna it's gonna veer off and you'll end up a thick piece on one end and a thin piece on the other. So it has to be absolutely dead level. When I first mixed up the first resin, I made a right balls up. It, this is what it looked like, like that reason for that um is another one here as well uh the reason for that as i mixed it up um i did get the wrong resin i got a um sort of a clear coat resin which is only supposed to be about two millimeters thick um so uh i mixed it up left it in the jug because it was very thin i thought i'd give it a go uh and leave it for a little while this is the stuff i got uh, but it didn't it didn't uh work after about 10 minutes it just um it just went all over the place so um i bought some other stuff um of which i'll show you in a minute uh this stuff is uh a stuff i've used before and it's very thick um which is really is what you need because when you're when you're doing what i'm just about to do now um it needs to be mixed up well um, mix it up slowly um, and the reason I'm heating it there is because it's very cold in that cabin so I just wanted to heat it up a little bit because it was it's very thick so I mixed it for about three minutes and then added the paint this is uh, their acrylic paints um, a nice thick blue um, yeah just spreading it around try and get it as close to the edge as possible um, yeah like that and then uh and then i yeah heat it up and then uh it will move it around a little bit i should be wearing am i wearing gloves i can't tell yes i'm wearing gloves <laughs> okay sorry about that should be wearing gloves um and then i mixed up a lighter blue uh just to add a little bit to the edge and then the white so you put a piece of you put a drop of clear first then add your white like that and then get your uh your that's a that's a heat gun not a hairdryer so um and then just start just feeding it away um and it'll create all those things the reason you're getting those little sort of breaks and bubbles and that is because i added a couple of drops of silicon oil um to the paintwork 
which makes it spread out like that. See my wife interfering. Um, yeah, so it came out quite good. Um, I was sort of pretty pleased with that. Just add a bit more heat um, to it, just to just to push it away. Mm. Now, every time you do this, it will come out differently. And the really hard part of this is not to overdo it. It's really, um, I am a novice, okay? Um, so this is novice work. There are some of the experts, if you watch on YouTube, they'll have wiped that whole lot off and started again. But I don't want to do that because the resin's quite expensive, paint's quite expensive and that. So I didn't really didn't want to, I really didn't want to go messing it up. Um, so it, uh, it it seems to, well, I quite like it. It's uh, it's come out quite well. The only thing I would say, um, the reason you didn't see me do the, the lava, the yellow bit, is because um, I didn't push the record button. Um, so, of course, I couldn't do it again. But exactly the same method. It's come out a little more muted than the, the, the blue and the white. But, yeah, again, that's the way it goes. You just have to keep trying. Um until until it, it works right what i'm doing there is just trying to make a, a neater job of that yin yangy shape um there's the paints i'm using sorry it's gone a bit quick there the blow lamp is to that you get little micro bubbles in the in the artwork and you just you don't overdo it but you just heat them up and you see the little bubbles pop um you're always going to get the odd little tiny hair or the little tiny mark, which I've got there. Um, but just pick it. You just add a little bit more resin and it disappears. That's what's great about this stuff. Yeah, so um, just rub all that down the sides and then, uh, and then um, leave to it. See how it goes. This is the state it looked when uh, it exploded in the uh, in the jug. No, 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 not very good. Um, okay, so the, I'm start. I'm putting a top coat on. The reason being is um, I didn't <coughs> clean it properly, which was very disappointing because any finger marks, anything like that, and what will happen is the 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 top coat will separate and. Um, as you can see, what I'm doing here is this is this is the top coat I put on, um, and it was going fine. It was going fine. Again, I've got my gloves on there. Uh, you should really, if you're going to do this a lot, you should wear a mask as well. To be honest, but um, I've got the windows open and the door open and stuff like that, so I'm leaving it to him. But I did this, and I didn't really clean it properly, um, and I got some they're like dimples you, you get little dimples in the resin i'm not even sure you're going to see them but uh, uh you get dimples and it, there's nothing you can do about it i tried um adding some more i tried adding some more resin on uh, they're not coming up yet so wait and see i'm a messy sod the flipping resin was going everywhere all over the floor um look, all down the back oh dear oh dear my wife went Batty. but there you go you learn something new every day so i'm getting these little divots um mainly in the the sort of the lava area uh there's um just heating heating it up a bit um but um when you get these divots no matter how much resin you put back in because you've got finger marks and it's like a oil on your fingers it just separates and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Look, see, it just popped up there. And there's nothing you can do. I, I, you, the only thing you can do is to let it dry. Yeah, let it dry completely. I keep trying, but it just will not, they just won't go. So you have to let it dry completely. 
um, and in the next part of the video you'll see that, that it's best to rub it down just take the gloss off slightly rub it down um, and then um, get a good dollop of um, pure alcohol isopropyl I think it's called uh, rub it down so you've got absolutely no finger marks in there at all um, and then once the top coat goes on it should be nice and smooth so uh, yeah I'm still see um, still none the wiser at the time but uh, you know this is the thing when you're doing something new isn't it you try these things and sometimes they don't they just don't work out properly but I kept going but it just it just failed to it just failed to cover it so um, I'll, I'll have to let it dry So it's all dry now, so I'm giving it a good sand with some 1200 sandpaper. It really is just to take the, uh, the gloss off. Um, so give it a good sand. Um, yeah, that seems to be all right, Tony. You can sort of stop now, I think, yes. Uh, and then get a good dollop of that um, isopropyl alcohol and give it a good rub over. We should get rid of any any oil marks from my fingers and stuff like that. Best way to do it, just don't touch it. See the divots, they, uh, they don't look good at all. Um, but once the top coat's on, it, uh, it comes up all right. So it's pretty, it's pretty good. So we're just gonna run through. Um, I'll speed it up a bit. I'll speed it up a bit and put the top coat on. Make sure it's obviously, obviously level. Um, the stuff I'm using for the top coat is, you know what, I paid, I think it was 50 quid that lot for three kilos. Uh, so I may as well use it. You can see how thin it is when it comes out. Um, so it is only good for top coats or if you're doing things like earrings and stuff like that. It's pretty good for that sort of thing. Um, but as I say, if you leave it in that jug, because it's so thick, the exotherm um, consistencies of it will make it heat up and it will just, it will just not, it doesn't explode, but it, it just starts to bubble up. So really you need to mix it for about three minutes and pour it on straight away. So it's coming on now. Um, basically just get it all to the edge. Get it all to the edge, heat it up with the, um, the paint gun. Um, which will get rid of those mi uh, micro bubbles, loosen it up a little bit, as you can see there. Yeah, um, the torch is a good thing to use, um, but you just got to be really careful because you can burn the resin fairly quickly. Um, so you just literally brush it over like that, and it'll 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 blow the bubbles, it'll blow all the tiny bubbles out. Uh, you can over fuss with this you can just keep going I mean this is the third this is the third top coat um, but you've got to be so careful I, you know it's it's maybe worth doing um, getting yourself a small bit of um, resin and have a go at some coasters and things like that and just see how they go first uh, before you go spending loads of money on it um, but um, that, that's that's how I've done it it's uh, I'm gonna let that dry now I think I think I might be putting another another top coat on that. Let's see how that goes. You just got to make sure those edges, the drips down the side, you can leave them. Once it's all dry, you can turn it upside down and get sanded to it, and then um, and then take them off. There you go, all done. That's quite nice. Uh, not the best day at the moment. It's uh, we're in the middle of that storm, Eugene. But uh, yeah, no, I'm pleased with that. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, any advice I can give, please ask, and uh, uh, I'll, I'll leave a link in the um, description of uh, where I got all the bits. All right, take it easy. See you on the next one.